Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for always coming back. So as you probably read from the title, today's video is going to be all one brand. Uh, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild products to do my makeup today. I've not really used much of their products except for their lipsticks, which are amazing. So I thought, why not? So I went ahead and bought some of their products. So this will also be kind of first impressions video because I've not used them prior to this video. Also, just putting it out there, I'm gonna be a little thrifty with the products because I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow as my, you know, eyebrow powder and as my contour and you know all that jazz. So that's it. Now let's get started. I've already moisturized my skin and I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and for that I'm gonna be using this deep brown shade from the eyeshadow quad called sweetest candy wet n wild definitely has a lot of nice eyebrow products but I'm just using this cuz why not if your eyeshadow is matte and matches your eyebrow color you can always use that to fill in your eyebrows That, my friend, is a perfect match. You know, when I say things like that, I'm not trying to pull off an accent. I'm just, you know, being funny. I think some people actually think that I'm trying to pull off an accent because the other day someone commented on one of my previous videos like, don't try to be Priyanka Chopra. And I'm like, dang, that's not my intention, you guys. That's not at all my intention. Like, so yeah, you guys, I'm not trying to like fake an accent or anything. My accent is very, very Indian and I'm proud of it. See, I did it again. I'm proud of it. And we did our eyebrows, now we need to clean up around them and just prep our eyelids. And for that, I'm going to be using their Photo Focus Concealer. I'm just going to use it on a nice flat brush and clean up around my eyebrows. And I'm just dragging down the same concealer all over my eyelids. So now that both the eyelids are prepped, we're going to start off with our eyeshadow. And for that, I'm going to be using this beautiful palette from Wet n Wild. It's called Stop Playing Safe. And it has these beautiful green and blue shades. And that's what I'm going to be working with mainly today. Since I bought this palette, I've been playing around with them. And you can create really, really bold looks as well as really simple neutral looks with this palette. So if you're looking to buy a very versatile palette and which is really, really, really affordable, then I would totally, totally, totally recommend this one. So as usual, I'm going to start by warming up my crease using this deep brown shade. You can totally skip this step because at the end the shade really just got covered up but I just couldn't, you know, stop myself. This shade by itself is just so beautiful. I think this is going to be my new everyday palette. So I'm planning to do kind of an ombre if that makes sense. So I'll start by applying the shimmery light green on my inner corners, move on to the dark green and finish off with the dark blue. I'm gonna go into the shimmery green shade and I'll start by putting it on my inner corners and come almost halfway through. You can totally just use your fingers to do this step but this shade did come through really really well even using a brush so I just went ahead with it. Just like that, bring that color almost halfway through. Now I'm gonna go into this deep green shade and load it up on my fingers and then just start placing this color right next to that lighter green. I'm using my fingers here because I feel like the color payoff is much better that way with this color. You don't want to bring it all the way into your outer corners, just keep it in the mid section. And with just your fingers, just go over that place where both the colors meet so that there is a smooth transition. And finally, you want to again take a nice flat brush and go into this deep blue shade and start depositing it into your outer corners right next to that green shade. Also, just want to put it out there that the fallout is very minimal given the fact that we work with really bright colors. As usual, don't have to worry about the outer corners because I'm going to clean that up. And now again with that brush, you want to go over the place where the green and the blue meet so that you diffuse them into each other. Now I'm going to use this nice peachy shade to just blend out my crease. So I've taken that shade on a nice tapered brush and I'm going to start building it above my crease. So as I said in the beginning, that first transition shade was useless because we end up using this one on our crease. But you can just say that it adds a dimension or something like that. And something like this is what you want to end up with. So I just did my other eye as well and now I look like a mermaid threw upon me. Wait, mermaids come in every color, right? Anyway, I'm just gonna clean this up with a makeup wipe. I don't know why I'm torturing myself like this, but please don't do this. Please be a lot more gentler on your face. Unlike my previous video, I'm not gonna forget to clean up my fingers. 
Now I'm going to take this liquid liner called H2O Proof from Wet n Wild and create the nicest, tiniest wing. So a heads up, this eyeliner is actually waterproof. Like it stayed on my eyelids for two days. So I don't know if it's a good thing or bad, you decide. Now I'm going to put on some lashes and I'll be right back. And we have our lashes on. Now I'm going to start off with foundation. So I'm going to be using that famous photo focus foundation. I'm sure everybody has seen this guy all over Instagram. So, and this is my first time using it. We have the famous spatula. Is that what you call it? I think so. But yeah, I'm just going to go straight onto my face. And if you're wondering, I'm in the shade golden beige. Hopefully that is enough. I will be using the concealer under my eyes as well, so I'm just going to avoid that region. So after having this on my face for exactly 5 seconds, I really like it. For concealer, I'm going to be using the one from their photo focus range once again. I'm just popping it on the usual spots and also on either sides of my face because I don't have a cream contour from Wet n Wild and hopefully this helps. I'm going to blend out the concealer using the same beauty blender. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, you don't want to mess up that nice clean edge that you have created. I'm just going to put a little bit more on these two dips I have under my eyes. Now, please excuse me, I don't have a powder from Wet n Wild. They obviously have a lot, but I just couldn't manage to get my hands on one. So I'm just going to use another drugstore favorite. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I'm just going to use that all over my face. I know this video is all about Wet n Wild, but the next time you're looking for a powder, please just buy the Rimmel one, use it, and then you can thank me later. For contour, I'm going to use the same shade I used for my eyebrows. I'm going to take it on a smaller contour brush and try and contour my face with it. It has a little bit of that greyish undertone, which is great for creating shadows, and that's why it works brilliantly as a contour shade. It's honestly not bad. It really does a good job. Not gonna forget my forehead. I've just taken it on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna try and contour my nose very lightly. Now I'm gonna take this shimmery white shade and highlight my brow bone and my nose a little bit. I'm also gonna use that to highlight about my lips. For blush, I'm going to be using their shade called Apricot in the middle. This is such a beautiful shade. It has a slight shimmer to it, so it acts as a highlighter as well. Of course, some on my chin and my nose. So I'm going to use the same three shades on my lower lash line as well, but I'm just going to change up the uh, order. So in the middle, we'll have the shimmery light green shade. And on the outer side, we'll have green. And on the inner corners, we'll have blue. I have no clue why I decided to change up the order. I should have just done the same thing on my lower lash line, but well. This is what we got. You do want to make sure that the green meets your uh, eyeliner at the outer corners. I'm sorry if this uh, face scares you. Hopefully nobody gets any nightmares. But I'm just trying to put on some mascara. Now I'm just going to use this really light shade to highlight my tear ducts. We are almost done. Now I'm going to use my favorite lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's called Sandstorm. I've used it I think in one of my previous videos as well. Slow mos have clearly returned. So there was one product that I'm really not a big fan of from today's Wet n Wild collection. Which one do you guys think it is? Like, I'm literally gonna say it in two seconds, but make a guess. So this is my final look using all Wet n Wild products. If there's something that I would ask you to stay away from, then that would be the concealer. But everything else worth it. Also with the eyeshadow palette that I use, you can create a really really subtle looks as well. I just went for this non-wearable look because I like it. So if you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please don't forget to like this video. And also, please do consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content. I'm not like a beauty guru, but you know, I just like makeup just like a normal person. That's it. Thank you for watching till the end. Bye guys!